I prefer nine. Uh, we can talk a little bit about why you're making the switch. He's eating a freaking sandwich full of meat, so he's just got as much meat in his mouth as he possibly can. My wife has a Glock 19 and a shield. So she is shooting nine. So one of the big reasons for us within the family is to consolidate calibers. Sure. I Magazines, have, everything. Right. That way, everything would be interchangeable between uh, um, the guns, uh, at least the Glocks. Uh, uh, now I realize that she has the shield, so that's not quite the same, but that may go to a 43 again, still not the same, but either way, that that's probably one of the, the biggest factors. Uh, uh, one of the reasons that I went with 40 had to do a lot with originally, and like it was a Glock that was available to me. Was a, I bought it from a, a police officer, and there was so much 40 available at that time uh, with all law enforcement really using 40, and it seemed to me a, a logical reason. If I was traveling abroad or things like that, nine millimeter was really more popular internationally, but the 40 was still really the law enforcement uh, um, choice. And it probably still is right now, but you can see they're transitioning away from it. And with the FBI now beginning to transition all to the millimeter, yeah. you're going to see in more and more of the, uh, uh, the off, uh, law enforcement switching back over to, to 9mm. With the advances in uh, modern ammunition, yeah. ballistics, uh, bullets, all of those things, so that that also played a factor. Uh, um, so I'm going to go to a, a larger capacity. I'm going to go to uh, uh, it's less expensive to, to train. That's with. true. Yeah, cheaper ammo. Um, and so overall, uh, um, I I like the 40, but in the long run, in the long term, I think that it's a better option for me. And the great thing is I'm trading in my Glocks for other Glocks. So for me, the switch is going to be relatively painless other than magazines and some ammunition change. All of my holsters are going to continue to work. Yeah. All of my uh, uh, magazine carriers are still going to work. The overall, you know, it's not like I'm going to get a change in how my point is or any of those things. No. Um, so everything is going to stay the same. Really, all I'm doing is uh, I'm adjusting the caliber. Yep. So. And did you tell them what you're looking for today as far as the switch? Yeah, I'm going to probably be going with a 26 and a 19. Uh -huh. um, and I'm trading in a 27, 23, and a 35. Yep. Uh -huh. and if I was going to be doing a lot of competitive shooting, then I might look at a 17 or a 34. 34. Um, and I may get one of those um, again sometime down the road. Uh, um, and I also considered the 43 uh, uh, for concealed carry, but because of the, all of the holsters and everything and the interchangeability of the magazines between the 26, right. uh, um, my wife's firearm, my firearm, I just felt that uh, this time a 26 and the 19 are probably the best option. Makes the most sense. I mean, don't get me wrong, the 43 is a cool gun. If you guys have the opportunity to go try out a 43 somewhere, do it. Uh, very cool gun, very concealable. Uh, Terran Tactical makes the plus uh, base pads for your magazines, which... Uh, it's a must. Yeah, it's a must. Absolute must. Gets that round count up. Otherwise, you're only dealing with six rounds, which, uh -oh. frankly, in my opinion, isn't enough. Uh -oh. So, uh, we're going to go head into the gun shop right now, see if we can take you guys with us. And we're going to do some trading. Alright, so we got the wind taken out of our sails a little bit, but... Well, I had an amazing idea after we left the gun shop. So, no, I'll tell them what happened in so, the shop. So, uh, uh... Understandably, uh, there's not a lot of margin in Glock. Again, having come from the industry, we already we already were aware of that. We knew that we knew that there was going to be uh, it was going to be tight. My my goal was to trade in three, walk out with two, and come out clean. Unfortunately, the shop that we went to, they don't have any Gen threes in stock, uh, um, which I may have been able to pull that off if there were Gen threes, uh, um, and they didn't have any used. Uh, um, they didn't have any used uh, stock either. Uh, um, uh, except for an old Gen 1 Glock 17 and a yeah. 
couple of 45s, I think. Yeah. So, um, I was going to have to trade in three guns, walk out with two, and have to put money in. And I just didn't really want to do that. There's no need for that, really. Uh, so, the uh, idea that we came up with was to see if we can uh, source a couple of high quality 9mm conversion barrels. Uh, turn my 23 and my 27 into 9 millimeters yep. and we'll sell the 35 to fund the barrel purchase and then hopefully come out uh, uh, maybe even a little ahead on that. Yeah. Um, if you can avoid buying a new Glock, do it. There's People don't shoot their guns enough and especially Glocks, no one shoots them enough to really wear them out or hurt them. So why not get a used one, save some money and you know call it a day yeah so we went to another gun shop took the 35 there they had conversion barrels the storm lake ones which are really really good these are match grade barrels um they had the conversions from 40 to 9 in the 23 and 27. noah threw the 27 barrel in already um and noah pretty much did a straight up trade for the two barrels for his 35. yep so uh, um and you know here is the uh, uh Conversion barrel for a 23, um, and so this is how it comes, and it's marked. And I did get the stainless; you can get them in black, black nitrided, but uh, um, they're more, a little bit more expensive. Yeah. But it's actually kind of a cool look with the uh, um, the stainless barrels. Uh, um, and so uh, I think what we're going to do now is just uh, show you actually how easy it is uh, um, to basically go from 40 to 9. Yep. So here we go. First, you're going to check your firearms unloaded. Obviously, you're going to drop the magazine, the source out of there, and check in the chamber. Check it good, bracket a few times, and then disassemble your Glock. Hammer down, tabs down, slide your slide up. Now, this 27, Noah, before we started filming, already dropped in his conversion barrel. It converts a to a 9 mil, uh, basically turns it into a Glock 26, and Noah is going to install the 23 barrel. The uh, most difficult part of this whole process is probably taking your barrel out of your box. Yep. If, uh, if you can disassemble a Glock, then you can do a conversion. Drops right in. Old barrel. So, there you go. Conversion in. Do a little quick little function test, reset of the trigger. Good. Now, the great part about this is, if Noah ever wants to shoot 40, he keeps his 40 barrel, and he can just throw this back in anytime he wants, with his magazines, obviously. All right, guys, if you want to get away from 40 and move over to nine, especially if you're already in the Glock family, it might be as easy as just swapping some barrels and magazines. Instead of trading in all your guns or one gun, it hurts the wallet a little bit to do that. It's easier just to switch some barrels. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends. Hit that like button to let us know that you enjoyed it. And if this is your first time joining us here at the Wise Men Company channel, please hit that subscribe button so that you'll be informed when we have new videos coming out. Here at the Wise Men Company, we're all about being armed, being prepared, being informed, and being involved. So make sure that you're checking out the comments below and let us know what you think. Guys, go check us out on Instagram and Facebook, and we'll see you on the next video. See ya.